Yo, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I go 11 and 4. What a week. Honestly, I wish last week was the last week of games because I did so well. I went 11 and 4. Unexpected. I have to be honest, and you guys know this. I'm teetering here at the end, man. Like, I'm not feeling it, and I'm not really feeling these picks, but out of nowhere, 11 and 4. I won't go over the games. Obviously, Bills and Bengals was canceled, so that's null and void. That is, that's neither a loss or a win. This is it, though. This is my last NFL picks video of the year. Of the year. I might do a recap next week, kind of recapping not just the week, um, but the season as well. But anyway, let's get into my week 18 picks. Scary, scary times now. Because there are a lot of teams who are just mailing it in. And they already have their spot locked in the playoffs. So they're wet, resting all their starters, blah, blah, blah. A lot of meaningless games. Um, meaning, meaningless teams playing against each other. It's just, it's going to be a, a really weird week. So I don't know what to expect. But hey, I'm 1-48. I'm 148 and 106 on the year. So even if I lose all the games this week, I'm going to still finish above 500, which, like I said, from the very beginning, is the goal to finish above 500. All right, Saturday, Chiefs at Raiders. I got the Raiders winning this game. Spoiler alert. Why? Eh, who knows? No, last game shenanigans. You never know what's going to happen. Raiders are motivated. Almost beat the Niners last week. They're hungry. They want blood. They want to end the year on a win. Give them the Raiders at home. Titans at Jaguars. Now, there's a lot of people, a lot of people who love the Titans in this game. And I don't blame them. Everyone's overlooking them. The spread, I believe, is seven points. Third string QB. Up and down year. Jaguars have been hot. So there's a lot of people on the Jaguars for this game. And don't get me wrong. I'm also on the Jaguars. <laughs> But this is going to be a much closer game than we expect. Like, I can see this game, being first of all, being a one-possession game, three points. But I could see this game ending in a way that the Jaguars are down in the fourth quarter and they have to come back and win the game in the fourth quarter. Like, it's not going to be an easy game. Give me the Jags to win, though. Browns at Steelers. I have another upset. Browns are winning this game. Steelers have just been doing too good. It's been so suspicious. It's like, what, this is a four... They're on a, what, three, four-game, five-game winning streak? Tomlin has never lost, has never finished the season with a losing record. He's 8-8 eight and eight right now. That's going to happen. I'm sorry, Tomlin. Give me the Browns to upset the Steelers here. I just don't trust the Steelers in this spot. It just doesn't feel good. I, I can't see the Steelers winning this game. Vikings at Bears. Vikings are winning this game. I don't even think Fields is playing. Give me the Vikings. Jets at Vike, sorry, sorry, Jets at Dolphins. Give me the Jets to win this game. Another wacky, weird, divisional, last game of the year scenario. Dolphins are just sliding. They've lost, what, four or five games in a row? They're going to lose another one to end the year. Like, listen, they had a good 2022 run, okay? But try again next year, okay? You just You guys crumbled at the end of the year. Try again next year. Give me the Jets to win this game. Panthers at Saints. A meaningless game. Neither team is in the playoffs or has a shot. They're both eliminated. Uh, give me the Saints to win this game at home. I'm going to just take the home team to play it safe. Uh, Bucks at Falcons. Another meaningless game. Bucks are already in the playoffs. Um, they're resting their starters. Give me the Falcons to win this game, man. I just don't care. These games do not matter to anybody. Uh, Ravens at Bengals. This is going to be a good one. Uh, I, I believe Lamar Jackson is back. And I think because of that, this game is going to be closer than what many people expect it to be. Uh, but give me the Bengals to win at home. I was very tempted, very, very tempted to take the Ravens. Just because, like I said, it's a divisional game. They always play each other really, really tough. Lamar Jackson, you just never know with him. You know, you just never know. But, I don't know, give me the Bengals at home. I also feel like 
the Bengals have a lot more energy and they're not a lot more rested because of what happened Monday night. Um, yeah, give them the Bengals. All right, next game, Patriots at Bills. This is an easy one for many, many reasons, not just because the Bills, like the Bengals, are a little bit more, more, a little bit more rested and a little and pretty emotional too because of what happened to Hamlin. But the Bills are just a much better team. Like even if ignore all the circumstances in the last week, the Bills would have still won this game. <laughs> uh, they're just a much better team than the Patriots on every level. Uh, Texans at Colts. Another meaningless, stupid game, but give me the stupid Colts. Give me the team that I've gone against every week this year. You know what? Let's just change it up. It's the last week of the year. Give me the Colts to beat the Texans. <laughs> uh, Giants at Eagles. Giants are resting all their starters. Eagles, I believe, are not. So they're really fighting for that number one seed to maintain that. Uh, give me the Eagles to win this game. Uh, Rams at Seahawks. Spoiler alert, I got the Rams beating the Seahawks. Uh, yeah, Seahawks might be, you know, they, they, they're they kind of fooling you, turning it up at the end of the year, turning things back around, you know, got a big win against the, uh, a big win against the Jets at home. Nope, Rams are going to come in and spoil the Seahawks playoff hopes. Give me the Rams to win. Cowboys at Commanders. Cowboys are going to be fighting for that number one seed, so give me the Cowboys to win this game. Commanders, listen, their coach didn't even know about their playoff situation last week. Give me the Commanders. I mean, give me the Cowboys. Ugh. All right, last three games. Cardinals at 49ers. Um, 49ers are not resting their starters, I believe. Um, and the Cards, you know, they really have nothing to, to play for. So I, th so I think they're really going to be swinging the ball around, you know, taking chances, doing, you know, running crazy schemes and plays out there. Um, I think it's going to be a close game. I, I don't think the Niners are going to win by 14. Uh, but I think the Niners are still going to find a way to come out and win this game. Um, but, you know, I, I could see a scenario where, you know, let's say halftime, this game is too close for comfort for, for uh, Shanahan. So he decides to rest his starters. And then the Cardinals win the game. But giving the Niners to win. Chargers at Broncos. Broncos are favored by three points just because Chargers are resting their starters. Um, I don't know, honestly. I know the Broncos looked pretty decent last week. Not going to lie. Um, yeah, the Broncos, screw it. Who cares? <laughs> Last game of the regular season. Lions at Packers. Everybody wants the Packers to win. I low-key want them to win. But give me the Lions in this spot. Give me the Detroit Lions to beat the Packers and possibly make it to the playoffs. Time in and time out. The story of this NFL regular season has been the Lions stepping up to the plate and doing the unexpected. And yet again, we're at a week where everybody is on the opponent. The media wants the Packers to win. The NFL, they want the Packers to win. Nobody is on the Lions' side. Mm -mm -mm. But what have we learned? The Lions are gonna upset your dreams, bro. They're gonna they're gonna win the games they're not supposed to win. So for that reason, give me the Lions to beat the Packers and Lambeau Field. It's gonna be an upset. No one's gonna know what to do at the end of this game. But give me it. All right, guys, those have been my picks for week 18 and the 2022 NFL regular season. Thank you all for following along. Like I said, I'm very, very excited to see what record we end up with at the end of the year. Uh, I won't I won't talk about too much of the, of the season because, like I said, that's going to be a few of video for my recap video next week. Uh, but those are my picks. And, hey, let's finish the week off the year off strong.